Hello and welcome to another episode of Art Tips and Life Flips. This is your host and Illustrator Siege. And before we even get started, I just wanted to tell you that the magazine that I talked about in the episode of A Story of Friends has come out now. So I'm going to put the, the links in the description below so you can go and check that out whenever you're ready. But for today, I'm actually going to talk about hobbies. Now, I was going to talk about just directly how hobbies affect artists and whatnot, but I wanted to change it up a little bit because I was talking to a friend and he got me thinking and it made me think I wanted to talk about hobbies in terms of everybody. The thing about hobbies is it doesn't, it's not just because they're fun. When it comes to art, of course, we need to do hobbies in order to keep our mind off things. If you're just sitting there and you're focusing in on your art constantly for hours and hours and hours, you're going to burn out. It's good to have a break or have something that allows you to step away, get your mind completely off of the task at hand and do something fun and get yourself back into it. So when you come back with fresh eyes, you're ready to go and you're ready to start your painting and just have fun with it. Now, again, as I like to do, I'm gonna relate this to regular life. Now, in terms of maybe okay let's 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 think about it okay relationships <laughs> we'll talk about relationships again in terms of relationships when it comes to say if a guy is interested in a girl or something if he's sitting around and obsessing over this girl all the time and he has nothing to do ever because all he has is really his job and then that girl or, even, or sometimes not even not even a job it's going to drive him insane but if he's actually preoccupied He's actually got a lot of different hobbies that he has to focus on and he has lots of different things he has to do in the day then he's not going to be sitting there stressing over this person and it's going to actually allow him and give him a better chance with the person that they want to to get involved with because nobody really wants someone who is just stressing over them all the time and it works the same in art as well if you're just stressing over your work all the time you're not going to produce the best results now as creatives, for a lot of us, our hobby is our career. We're actually very involved in what we do. For me, I'm an artist and I love painting, so that's also my hobby. But it's very, very good to get a hobby outside of that because if you're frustrated in a piece that you're working on and you're going to work on your own piece, it can be fun and good, but you might burn yourself out. So it's good to have other types of hobbies also because they work different areas of your brain. For me, I have a few hobbies that are physical and then I have some that are more mental and I just, I love collecting hobbies. It's, I think collecting hobbies is a hobby on its own. So some of the things that I like to do are, as you can see from the painting, longboarding. Longboarding is a newer hobby of mine, but it's really, really fun. It gets me connected with a community of people. I also, it's also a physical exercise. So I'm out there becoming more flexible again, which is, uh, kind of scary for me and then I also play ocarina and I sing and I play video games it's very very good for calming your stress and just getting you back into the mood so when you get back to your work you're ready to go you shouldn't really look at doing hobbies as a time waster because you might end up actually losing more time trying to force a painting or force some work or force a situation that's not working at that moment you need to kind of back up take yourself out of that situation and focus in on some stuff that's important to you and then good things will come from that so with that said i'm gonna end it here thank you guys again for watching um you know if you like the video give it a thumbs up also i wanted to ask you guys what are some of the hobbies that you have just let me know in the in the comments below and i'll respond to those and uh yeah if you like the video you know again give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel share my videos with your friends if you really enjoyed them and uh i'm gonna go now i'll be back next week with another art tips and life flips so thank you again and also just an apology for my voice sorry if i mumbled some of the words i actually have i actually bit my lip just a day before doing the recording so i'm just kind of like trying to struggle with like i have a half smile thing going on right now it's a little bit weird but yeah i just figured i should explain that so anyways thank you guys i will talk to you again next week so take care